We love puns, which is why we love today, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you, also known as Star Wars Day, and fans around the world are celebrating, and some of them are also giving back. So joining us now to talk about that, Ricky Resurrection, events coordinator at George Mark Children's House, also known as TK74259 of the 501st, 50, do I say 501st Legion? Is that what I say? 501st Legion, yes. Good morning. Happy Happy Star Wars Day to you. Happy Star Wars Day to you, too. And I see that um, you might be on the dark side. Are you a part <laughs> of the First Order? I am part of the Empire. You are? I did, yes, I, I am. I did not realize that. Okay, well, uh, what do they say? To the Order? Is that what they say? Uh, to the for to the empire. To the empire, <laughs> okay. So, Ricky, before we get into that and why you chose the dark side, what is the 501st Legion? 501st Legion simply is a worldwide costuming organization. Uh, we assemble uh, screen accurate costume for conventions, entertainment, and for, uh, for charity. So we're just a bunch of geeks who are into <laughs> Star Wars costume. I love that. So how does that, oh, and I, you know what, some of these, um, some of this cosplay is really advanced. So we're seeing you here actually in, are you a stormtrooper? Do you have the full outfit? I have the stormtrooper. I have a biker scout. I have, I wear so many masks actually. Wow. What is it about Star Wars that really gets you going? Oh, it's, it's simply, it's based on a story that's so simple in terms of like, you know, basic battle of good versus evil, but it's so rich in terms of layers of values and stuff. So it's just a wonderful community of like-minded people who are into something that's so special from a galaxy far, far away. Now, we also mentioned that you're part of the George Mark Children's House, and I know that there's an intersection here of your interests. <laughs> Yes, yes. I work with George Mark Children's House. We are a the first freestanding pediatric palliative care in the country. Uh, in about in 2004, we opened our doors to children with life-limiting illnesses, chronic conditions, or families who are needing respite care. So, um, it's a very nice opportunity for our children to be experience a a wonderful day like Star Wars Day. I love that. And uh, just a moment ago, we saw basically all of the outfits that you have in your lineup. Um, I'm curious, what do the children think when you have this event? What, what are their reactions? Well, one of the beauty of being in a Star Wars costume is you help kids. They get transported to a different world. You know, for a brief moment, you bring them smiles. For mm. a brief moment, children forget, you know, their, their problems, what, what ails them they're just transported to a, gal a different galaxy, to a different place, a different special place. And it's such a privilege to be, to be a vessel in, in helping them do that. Right, and we all, we all have to have hope, no matter what our diagnosis is, no matter what our fate in life is. And Star Wars is all about hope, isn't it? I, I agree, I agree. The beauty of Star Wars is you, you, you call very important life values, love, redemption, and most especially hope that keeps us, that's the fuel that keeps keeps all of us going. Okay, and, so, and it's a wonderful blessing to, to be a vessel to yes, do that. Oh, it really is. And I'm just so impressed with what uh, your organization does, what you as a person do for that organization. And the fact that you bring this love of Star Wars to the kids is, is mm -hmm. so great. So now I'm gonna ask you the toughest question of all. Oh Who is the greatest Star Wars character of all time? I would say, hands down, it should be R2-D2. Ooh! Defend it, defend it. R2's been there since the very beginning. He's, you know, he talks in boops and beeps, but uh, very little people, characters understand him, but he makes things done. He's a good problem solver. Uh, he's just there. He's, he's your most dependable guy all throughout the saga. You know what? Hands down. The little guy wins. The little guy wins. The little guy wins. I like that too. You know, when I went to Disneyland or I went to Galaxy's Edge, I saw R2-D2 and I was honestly starstruck. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Uh, the nice thing about R2, when you, you see him in real life, it brings out the kid in everybody. It just melts your heart. 
Ricky, you're so right. When I saw him, I felt like I was back to being, you know, seven years old when I first saw a Star Wars movie, and it, it was like I had, I finally got to meet an old friend. So I love all that. And I feel that way talking to you too. Ricky, it's such a pleasure, and good luck today. May the fourth be with you. Likewise, may the fourth be with you. Happy Star Wars Day. Bad guys doing good for the Empire. Yes, to the order. All right, thank you so much, Ricky. It's May the 4th, so we're celebrating all things Star Wars. The George Mark Children's House in San Leandro offers life-affirming care and comfort for children and their families. And today they're hosting a special event for those families. Joining us with more, Kyle Amsler, a child life coordinator at George Mark Children's House. Kyle, I see you have a little friend next to you. I do, say hi to you. <laughs> <laughs> R I mean, R2-D2 is a star, and I'm positive that when, I mean, look at the way I'm reacting to R2-D2. I can't even imagine, Kyle, what it's like when these children see, her, see him. Yeah, we even have an R2-D2 fan right here matching. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. It's been a great day out here with Starlight Children's Foundation and all the Star Wars characters. Having how, lots of how, fun doing arts and crafts. How long have you all been doing this, and who started this? So this is our second year doing May the 4th, and we started partnering with 501st Legion to bring costumes and Star Wars characters and with Starlight Children's Foundation to give out hospital gowns for our kids, Star Wars-themed toys, arts and crafts, and even wheelchair costumes. Now, Kyle, I don't know if you know this, but you have some members of the First Order who are right behind you. There are stormtroopers there. Kyle, you're in danger, girl. There, <laughs> there they are. I better look out. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell us a little, for people who are not familiar, can you tell us a little bit about the families and children who come seeking your care? What are you able to provide for them? Yeah, great question. So all of our children have potentially life-limiting illnesses, and we offer a variety of services to our families. And we work with children, teens, and young adults, zero through 24. With our respite care program, we do transitional care, end-of-life care in our beautiful facility that's really more like a house. Um, and we do ongoing bereavement services for our families after they've lost a child. It's so wonderful that families have a safe and, and um, supportive place to be during this really important time in their child's life. But I'm also so touched that they get to meet Star Wars celebrities <laughs> because who yes. wouldn't want to do that? And I think that's something that's really neat is I got an opportunity to talk to um, one of your colleagues this morning because I know that there are folks who work for your organization who are really involved in Star Wars cosplay. Yes, there are our events coordinator, Ricky, works for us, but also does Star Wars cosplay. I believe he's right behind me. <laughs> oh, he's the storm That's Ricky in the storm outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Kyle, yeah. Kyle, what, do the, what do the families and the children tell you after a day like this? They just feel so grateful to be part of an inclusive event. I think where the whole family can come out, siblings, our patients, parents, grandparents, and feel welcomed and have an opportunity to feel joy, be around other families like theirs, and just have fun together. Kyle Amsler from George Mark Children's House. It's so great to see you. I have to say that it's especially great to see R2-D2. We stay in R2-D2. And um, please give all of our well wishes to and, and, and um, loving and healing vibes to the families and the children out there with you. Thank you so much, and may the fourth be with you. <laughs> and to you. A special visit from a galaxy far, far away. How it's helping some worthy kids. It is May the 4th, also known as Star Wars Day. And in celebration, the Starlight Children's Foundation and a group called LiningUp.net arranged for Star Wars characters to visit the kids at the George Mark Children's House in San Leandro. R2-D2 calling in there. Uh, the characters hung out with the kids. They handed out some swag, including Star Wars hospital gowns. And the kids get excited that they're putting on an R2-D2 gown and that becomes a talking point and just takes them out of that moment um, before they go into treatment. That is terrific. The George Mark Children's House provides life-affirming care for children with illnesses that modern health care can't cure yet or for those who have chronic medical conditions.